The Serena Show. Dance with Serena and learn the fun way to beauty, grace, and a youthful figure. Hello, my name is Serena, and I want to welcome you to my beginner intermediate class. But first, I want to show you my parents. They were known as Bobby Blake and Jewel Blake, but in vaudeville, they had an act and they were called Blake and Blake. That's how I grew up, with that wonderful background in show business. And here I am at 17 doing my very first oriental dance. Now I'm getting ready for my performance at the great Egyptian Gardens night. I'm putting my makeup on, getting my costume ready, and trying out my zills. the Egyptian Gardens in the heart of Greek Town in New York City, which was on 29th Street and 8th Avenue. There were many small Greek clubs in that area, but the Egyptian Gardens was the most wonderful, the most fun, and the most magical place that anyone could ever dance in. And that seemed like entering a new and wonderful world. begin. This is a magic silk veil. The reason I call it magic silk is a particularly thin kind of silk that floats when you throw it up in the air. I teach it in the beginner intermediate level, but veils have been a part of Orientalist dance history. Artists at the turn of the century depicted women in the harems mysteriously veiled. And what you're going to see now is a collection of highlights from my many years of teaching. Some of those highlights were filmed in my dance studio and some were filmed in a professional television studio. But together, they demonstrate a step-by-step -step approach to the Serena technique. Now, join me and let's dance. I'm Serena, by the way, and I want to welcome you all here. I know there are some of you who are here for the first time, and I hope you're not scared. You're not scared, right? Good. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's just start with a shoulder slant. I'm keeping my ribcage high and just going like this. The same thing, lift up higher. That's beautiful, beautiful posture. Right heel up, right heel up. 
if I were to let go, this is what would happen. But I'm not dropping now. I'm staying in a straight line. Perfect. Perfect. Same thing on the other side. So your rib cage is also sliding from side to side. Look in the mirror, because I don't want you to drop your shoulder. See, I'm not doing this at all. I'm keeping it up as I go out. on the right. See, loosen your knees a little bit. My weight is all the way over here. I can lift this foot. That's for me. Now I'm shifting all the weight over to this side. But lean away from it. Lean away. See, I'm not leaning toward the hip. My shoulders are away from the hip. There's my shoulders. That way. There. That's good. I want you to just move your hips from side to side. Pull the hip slide. Hip slide. Don't lunge, don't bend your knees. Make sure it's your hips that are going out, not your shoulders, but feel those hips going out to each side. Good. Okay. Hip slide, hip slide. Pelvic tilt, shoulder tilt. Pelvic tilt again. Bend the knees on the pelvic tilt. See, the knees are bent. On the shoulder tilt, my back is straight. It's not hung over and rounded. It's straight. Pelvic tilt. And shoulder tilt. Okay. Hip slide. Way up. Forward. Hip slide to your left. That's your left side. Side to right, forward. Very nice. Look at my wrist, so. Side and back. All around. All around. Big circle. Hip circle. Use in the dance. And now the other way. I'm going, you're going from your left. Over to your right and back. Good. Okay, let's stand in a pose with your right heel up. Look at the wrist. We're going to do a series of arm patterns. Graceful. Head slide. 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 Head slide. And now this is called snake hands. Watch my hands, look. It's like the head of a snake going up to the sky. Let's do that again. The head of a snake curving up to the sky. because the energy has to go up from your fingertips. Step, right side. Step, left side. Let's have a little rhythm, please. We're taking it slow first.
go like that. We're going to start with the nine body positions. Shoulder slant is the first one. Just bring your shoulders down slowly to each side. Slowly. Now what I want you to do is use your hand gracefully. Look at the wrist. Look at the bend in the wrist. Beautiful hands are such an important part of the dance. Notice I use the hands to frame that shoulder slant. Slowly, take your time, take your time. And now the next one is shoulder slide. Instead of dropping the shoulder as I go to the side, I keep the shoulder in a lifted position parallel to the floor. The same thing on the other side. And if you're doing this correctly, what you're doing also is moving your rib cage from side to side. You wouldn't do that if you were doing the shoulder slant. So on the slide, the rib cage is moving from side to side, and a wonderful thing to be able to do is the shoulder slide as you bring your arms up at various heights. I'm still doing the shoulder slide even with my arms in various positions. The next one is called side waist contraction. Lift your heel, keep your knees loose, bring your hip way up as if it's going into your rib cage. That's called side waist contraction. What I want you to do rhythmically is move your hip into the side waist contraction. I'm moving into it. Notice I'm not moving my shoulders. Side waist contraction. Now hold that side waist contraction and drop the hip down. Again, isolating your shoulders. No shoulder movement. So, side waist contraction, moving into it and moving out. Next, pelvic tilt. Tuck in, bend the knees, tilt back. Straight line from knees to shoulders. Come up, straight back, straight shoulders, straight legs, shoulder tilt. Pelvic tilt and shoulder tilt. Many moves that we do in dance are derived from doing these positions. Pelvic tilt, shoulder tilt. Here's arch. Extend your rib cage a little more forward than usual. And now, this is a little tricky. Round your back. Bring your pelvis forward, bring your shoulders forward, tuck in. Notice my hips are not back here. They're tilted slightly forward in a line with my shoulders. So here's the arched position. Here's the contracted position. And now, hip slide is eight. Hip slide. So many movements are derived from the hip slide position. Hip slide. Hip slide. Now when you do the hip slide, one knee is not bent and the other knee is straight. Both knees are relaxed and slightly bent to enable you to go into a very, very wide hip slide position. Last but not least, hip extension. Lift the hip. Your body is not straight up and down, but in a slight shoulder slide away from that hip. And both knees are loose. One knee is not more bent than the other as you do here hip extension as the ninth body position. And here's final pose. shimmy and you need all this hanging beadwork in order to make the shimmy look great. Every one of these beads is sewn on by hand. Quite a project for do-it-yourselfers, but it's fun. If you want to make your own, you want to start now because it takes a while. 
and the hip band weighs a lot too. The weight is an important part of it. As I said before, today's step is the shimmy, which is probably one of the fastest hip movements in the whole dance. We're going to have fun with it, and there's a great benefit to it also. It's my way, and it'll be your way too, of getting rid of an occasional spare tire that seems to develop around the midsection. Before we begin our shimmy, we'll do a little warm-up and then go into the shimmy. With the warm-up, I'd like you to stand with your feet a few inches apart. Keep that rib cage high, tummy in, and let's have nice bright rhythm for some warm-up exercises. One and two and one and two and one side and then the other. Forward and back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Way out. Now, lift. Now, bring that hip out. The other side. Shimmy is not a shake. Very often, oriental dancing has been called shake dancing. That's because there are some shake dancers who call themselves oriental dancers. They're not really correct because oriental dancing takes a great deal of control, and the shimmy takes a great deal of control in the arms. That's what makes it a beautiful step. I'm going to show you in a moment the difference between the shimmy as a controlled movement and as a shake. You'll see the difference right away. Did you know that when you move your hips that quickly that you've got about 250 million muscle fibers all working for you? Let's get started now with the feet a few inches apart, knees flexed, arms out at your sides. What I'd like you to do first is push one elbow back, and when you push that elbow back, make that hip come forward like this. <laughs> Let's try it on the other side. Let's just push the elbow back. A little faster. A little faster now. Forward and back. Just like that. Push those shoulders back. A little faster. Watch those fringes now. Did you notice that when I did the fast shimmy, I wasn't going like this? It seems a very difficult thing to control those arms as you're moving your hips that quickly. The control comes in a tightening of the muscles in the upper part of the arm. So what I'd like you to do is try to get a fast shimmy and try to keep your arms from moving. Now, as I come around and position my students so that they'll be able to do the step, I want you in the audience at home to watch and try to learn along with my studio class. Let's have a bright rhythm now, and we'll all do the shimmy together. Bright rhythm, tilt back just a little bit as you do this. That helps to tilt back. Good. And back. Oh, you're all great. I can tell that you at home, some of you anyway, are not doing this the way I'm asking you to. It's not a dip like this. Don't sit straight down. When you dip on the shimmy, you tilt back and dip like this. So that as you're shimmying, your whole body just gently lowers. So as you add the dip to the bright rhythm and you practice with me at home, Get that bend the way I'm showing you to do it. So let's have some bright music again and fast shimmy.
it's not just doing the shimmy that's an exciting part of the dance. It's adding the shimmy to other steps that can be the highlight of the dancer's performance. And today, with the drum solo, we're going to do a little highlight. And you at home, I want to hear, hear that drum solo. Follow me with your shimmy, too. Let's have it now. Get the shimmy going. is not down, it's up, like that. Okay, let's do it rhythmically, two at a time. Medium tempo. Not too fast. this, I bring my left arm slightly forward. The opposite arm to the leg that you're bringing forward. The opposite. Because in a minute I'm going to show you how it would look if I brought the same arm up with the same foot. So what I'm doing here is my right foot, my left arm slightly look doom. Doom. Look, just, a, just a little swing. Here's what happens when you put the same arm and the same leg together. Music, please. <laughs> Medium tempo, opposite arm to the leg that's going forward. Let's go. And. arms up in, in the air like this is when I bring my right foot forward, my arms are just going a little bit to the right. Look, to the right, to the left. So my arms are swaying now in the same direction as the leg that's leading. Okay, let's try that. And... you to do, watch now, same tempo. Audience is here, not here. And. <laughs> medium tempo again and just watch what I'm going to do with my feet first. Thank you. 
beautiful, slow undulation. I want you to do the arch position where you bring your rib cage very far forward. See what I'm doing? Ribs are forward. Now look at my pelvis and my shoulders crumpled in, but the pelvis is forward. Let's do the arch again. I want to see that rib cage come much more forward, not back. Nope. 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 There. Arch. Contract. Arch. Contract. Now what I would like you to do is work with me on the pelvic tilt. Remember the pelvic tilt? Remember the shoulder tilt? Pelvic tilt? shoulder tilt. These are things we go over in every basic beginner class. First position, arch, arch, arch. Second position, pelvic tilt and hold. Third position, contract all the way back until your legs are straight and your back is straight. Shoulder tilt. Arch, pelvic tilt, contract, shoulder tilt. This is an undulation. This is an undulation. That's it, that's it. You got it. This is a beautiful slow undulation in the dance. Let me see you do it. Arch, pelvic tilt, contract, shoulder tilt. That's it, that's it. That's it, you got it, that's it. All the way back. Now come up from here. See, when you're here, come up from your ribs. Okay, now here's the thing. Everybody did beautifully with it. If we are performing, I want to show you something. Play something slow, please. We would not stand like this. Watch what we would do. We wouldn't stand still like this. One heel would be up. Arch, pelvic tilt, contract, and back. Let me see that. Very nice. Very nice. All the way back. Now come up from here. That's it. Tricky transition. Watch. What did I do? I went here and then from there, right, I went into a hip circle. You smoothly go from one thing to another. We don't step, we wouldn't go like this, stop, and then go into the next step. So, undulation, go back into a shoulder tilt. From there, this is tricky, hip slide, hip slide. Around, pelvic tilt, hip slide, shoulder tilt. Hip slide, shoulder tilt, around, back, hold. Come forward. I sneak that in. I went from here to here. It's tricky. Right. Very nice. Okay. We're going to go over the body positions and do a little more choreography. Serena. Yes, sir. Okay. Shoulder slant, everybody. Shoulder slant. Shoulder slant. The shoulder slide, everybody got. Straight across. I'm not dropping the shoulder anymore. Shoulder slide. Straight across to each side. Side waist contraction. Up and down. The heel stays up. Up and up and down and down. Up and up, down and down. Pelvic tilt, shoulder tilt. 
Pelvic tilt. Shoulder. Arch. Contract. Arch. Contract. Rounded back. Hip slide. Hip slide. The knees are loose. And last but not least, hip extension. Hip extension. Okay, we're ready for a little medium tempo see you soon, and in the meantime, happy dancing.